Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about basic input and output in python programming so guys in this tutorial we will learn simple ways to display output to the users and take input from users in python with the help of examples now guys as we have seen previously in python we can simply use the print function to print the output so let us check this with the help of example over here so i simply want to print a statement so let's say i want to print programming for beginners that is the name of this youtube channel which you should definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed it yet so once we provide this string inside the double quotes we can simply save this file and try running this code now so on the terminal we will be able to see this string getting printed that is programming for beginners i have missed out an o character over here so this is the correct string so programming for beginners is the string that we want to print and that is what we have got over here in the terminal now guys even with this print function over here this is a function and it takes certain parameters so parameters are nothing but certain values that you can provide to the function so as you can see the actual syntax of the print function accepts five parameters so basically we have only provided one parameter over here this can be treated as a parameter that is the value that we want to print now apart from this we also have other parameters as well so object is the parameter which is nothing but the value to be printed apart from that we have separator then we have and parameter file and then flush parameter so these are the five parameters and these are the descriptions of each and every parameter so over here the separator which is an optional parameter since we have not provided any separator over here it allows us to separate multiple objects inside print so let's say after this string i want to provide another number over here so let's say 1 2 3 4 is the number that i want to provide now i want these objects that is one is programming for beginners which is a string and another object that is a number to be separated using commas so what we will do is after providing comma we will use the scp that is another parameter as you can see vs code is providing us the auto completion feature over here so we just need to select that and then we need to provide single quotes and inside this we provide comma followed by the space character so guys what will happen is all the objects will be separated by using this comma and the space character over here it depends on your requirement how many objects you want to provide inside this print statement so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see programming for beginners and then we have this comma followed by the space character and then we have this one two three four object being printed over here we can have another object so let's say i provide another string that is another statement over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now so we are getting an error invalid syntax perhaps you forgot a comma so basically after providing each and every object we have to separate it using the comma over here and then let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see programming for beginners followed by comma and then we have space characters and then we have one two three four again we have comma and then space character and then we have another statement so guys in this way we can use the separator parameter as well in order to separate the different objects inside the print function now going to next parameter which is end over here which is again optional by default it is the slash n character in which case the control flow goes to the next line whenever there is another object that is getting printed over here so as you can see it allows us to add specific values like new line or tab character so guys let's say we have this print function over here i'll just remove this part of the line over here and let's say i have another print function in which case i am providing another statement so let's say we have another statement over here so guys what will happen is by default this end parameter is having the slash n character which means the control flow should go to the new line whenever there is a next print statement that is encountered so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see programming for beginner string is getting printed in first line and on the second line another statement is getting printed now what if we want both these statements to be printed on the same line but they are present in the different print function so what we will have to do is in the first print function i will provide a comma over here and then we have the end parameter so as you can see this end parameter we have to select and then inside the double quotes i'll simply provide the full stop followed by the space character so guys what is happening over here is after the string is getting printed at the end of the line we are providing this full stop and then followed by the space character and then whenever there is a next string that is encountered by the control flow it will get printed on this same line so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 
programming for beginners and then we have a full stop and then we have the space character as well and then we have another statement that is getting printed so guys we can also use this end parameter if we want multiple print functions to be used but all the objects need to be printed on the same line the other two parameters are file which is again optional where the values are printed so basically by default the values are printed on the screen and that is why its default value is system dot std out which means it should print on the screen you can also provide some file path over here so that the content can be written in the file apart from that we also have the flush which is again an optional parameter it is a boolean specifying if the output is flushed or buffered so by default it is having the false value so guys these two parameters you can practice on your own as a homework for you apart from that guys it is very important that how do you take input from the user in python programming so basically while programming we might want to take the input from the user in python we can use the input function so as you can see we have a variable over here or we can say identifier it is equal to we have used the input function so guys this input function it will take a parameter which will be kind of a label which will be printed on the screen for the user as a instruction so we are asking the user to enter a number and the number that will be entered by the user will be stored in this num variable over here so guys let us check this with the help of example now i'll just remove these lines of code so what we have to do is let's say we provide the number variable it is equal to we have to use the input function as you can see this is the function that is being suggested by the vs code over here and then using the open and close parenthesis inside this we have to provide a string inside the double quotes so we can simply provide enter a number now this is a instruction to the user to enter the number now guys what we can do is we can print this number now we can easily print this by using a string so let's say we provide the string over here that is entered number is and then followed by colon and then after this object we have to provide a comma and then we can provide the number variable to be printed so we have provided the number variable over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it is asking the user over here to enter a number so what i will provide is simply i will provide 10 as the number and then when i press enter as you can see entered number is 10 so this string is getting printed along with the number that is being entered by the user now guys it is very important to note that whenever we are using this input function the input that is taken by the user will be of the type string over here so if we print the type of this number variable over here let me just do that so we simply provide data type of number colon and then what we have to do is after comma we have to use the type function and inside this function we have to provide the number variable let me just save this file and try running this code now enter a number so let's say i provide 10 as the number as you can see enter number is 10 and after this data type of number it is class string so this is of string data type so whatever input is being taken from the user it will be stored as a string so what we have to do is we have to convert it into a number now since this is a string we cannot add another number to this particular number so let's say if we try to add some another number over here so we simply do number plus five over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so when we provide 10 as the number when i press enter as you can see it says can only concatenate string not end that's because we are trying to concatenate a string with a number over here that is the integer so what we have to do is we have to convert this input into an integer so we can simply provide int over here and then the entire input function needs to be enclosed within the open and close parenthesis so guys this we had seen previously as well this is the explicit type conversion over here which is the manual type conversion in which we are converting the string data type to the integer data type and now we will have the integer over here which can simply be added with another integer so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see enter a number this time let's say i provide 15 as the number and then when i press enter as you can see entered number is so what is happening is this number that is 15 was taken and then 5 was added to this number and that is why 15 plus 5 is 20 and this number is getting printed over here and you can see this data type of number 
now it is of the type integer that's because we have used the type conversion over here so guys this is the way you can take input from the user make sure that whenever you're using the input function the data that is being entered by the user is of the type string and you need to convert it into the appropriate data type before you can use the other operators so guys that's it in this video Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is arithmetic operators in Python programming. So stay tuned.